I've spent way too much of my gaming life in tunnels. Sometimes, like in Sewer Shark or N2O, I was trying to shoot things. Sometimes, like in Frequency, I was trying to make music. Speedex 3D Hyper Edition takes it one step easier. Just survive. That's pretty much all there is to do in this game. You slalom down this tunnel, avoiding blocks, spikes, hunks of rebar, and then all of a sudden the tunnel opens up. Whoa. This just went from frequency to amplitude. So where the hell's freeze pop? Okay, let's come down to Earth. There's no freeze pop to be had. No Logan 7, no Power Man 5000, no Blink-182, no bands with numbers in them at all. Instead, you've got five background tracks, changeable in mid-travel, which don't actually have any bearing on the gameplay. They're just there to sound nice and enhance the immersive effect, which, for the record, is pretty intense, especially considering there's an incentive to go into hyper mode for a bonus multiplier to your score as long as it's engaged. Unless you've picked up some shields by rolling over the shiny patches in the track, you're effectively a one-hit point wonder. Of course, at speed, it can be tough to identify those patches in time to get to them, and to discern between the power-up spots and the colored tracks that lead up to obstacles. Did I mention you occasionally hit hazards in the course that throw all the colors out of whack and then you're just screwed? Fortunately, you're given a countdown before they emerge. Unfortunately, as the tunnel continues, there are more and more mobile blocks that require faster thinking and the occasional peril of running off the side of the track in the more open, amplitude segments. And then you can restart and try again, because there's really only one game mode to be had here. While this might be a bad sign in most games, I'm a little less frustrated with Speedex's shallowness because... Heck, let's face it, if you're gonna get the most out of this thing, chances are it's gonna involve some sort of auxiliary substance of a non-video game-ish nature. Again, fitting the time-honored tradition of immersion-centric music games. There are power-ups to help you along that can temporarily slow down time or waste all of the hazards in a given area, but ultimately, your only competition is yourself. To that end, you can check your all-time stats, constantly try to beat your high score, or... Well, just get yourself a nice pair of headphones, crank up the volume as loud as it'll go, and be anywhere except your strange Aunt Myrtle's birthday party, being constantly reminded to try the cheese dip because it's not out of a can. And why haven't you called in months? What, have you been locked in an underwater recording studio or something? Kids these days. 